Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I used to love Internet Explorer back in the day. Version 2.0 was awesome. 3, even better. 4, not so much. 5, really got long in the tooth. 5, 5, yeah, and 6, 7, 8. Yeah. But a lot of people out there use Internet Explorer. And they can still continue to use Internet Explorer. So long as they install a new plugin. A plugin that Google has released. It's called Google Chrome Frame. This plugin, installed in Internet Explorer, will allow Internet Explorer to still run the window. You know, Internet Explorer with all the buttons and, and everything. But instead of using Internet Explorer's rendering engine, that is the way that HTML and all the objects are rendered inside the browser window, you know, the web page, instead of using Internet Explorer's plumbing, this plugin, Google Chrome Frame, will supplant Internet Explorer's rendering engine with Google's, which is faster, and it's going to make web pages look even better. And if you've never installed Google Chrome, that's okay. You don't need Google Chrome on your computer. You can still use Internet Explorer, but you can install Google Chrome Frame, and your web pages will load faster. Your JavaScript applets will run faster. It's better. Now, the thing about this, it's kind of crazy. So it doesn't work on every web page you load, even if you have the Google Chrome Frame extension installed in Internet Explorer. But when webmasters or web developers include this meta tag, this little code inside their web page, if you, running Internet Explorer, the program, the utility, also have the Google Chrome Frame extension installed, and the web developer has enabled it, that web page will load seamlessly. You won't even know that it's running in Google Chrome Frame because it's, it's kind of invisible there, running in the background, making your web pages look better, run faster. But you can still use Internet Explorer. Okay, so I realize this is a bit surreptitious, but if your parents still want to use Internet Explorer, if your friends still want to use Internet Explorer 6, 7, or 8, that's okay. Just install Google Chrome Frame. They'll never know. They'll never know. They'll never need to switch their browser, and they'll have a better browsing experience right there with Google Chrome Frame. I can almost guarantee when uh, more web developers get a hold of this code, it's open source by the way, but when they include that little bit of code inside their web pages, you know, the HTML, uh, the script, or I should say, the markup language that basically tells the web browser what to do and where to place the objects. When they start deploying this, I can almost guarantee Internet Explorer uh, we're going to see a lot less users actually using Internet Explorer's rendering engine because I'm telling you, this is a Trojan horse. I mean, not in a bad way. It's surreptitious. It runs in the background. You don't even know it's running, and yeah, it takes a few more resources, but it's totally worth it. If you know somebody who uses Internet Explorer 6, 7, or 8, go ahead and install or suggest that they install Google Chrome Frame. Again, it runs invisibly. And it only runs when the web developer tells it to. Your web pages will look better. They'll run faster. It's a guarantee. Guarantee! It's all about open standards. And unfortunately, uh, Microsoft, yeah, I mean, they've got a chance. They've got a chance. But, uh, you know, who's to say that this doesn't have a chance as well? We'll see what Microsoft does with Google Chrome Frame. They can't really do anything. It's adhering to the plugin architecture, so it's perfectly legit. Runs in the background. Only runs when it needs to. Google Chrome Frame. If you want to get a copy, go ahead and Google Google Chrome Frame, and you'll be able to pull up the web page where you can either download and look at the code if you're a developer, or just download and install it for Internet Explorer 6, 7, or 8. I don't know what else to say other than, wow! Awesome! You don't have to switch people away from Internet Explorer anymore. Just say, yeah, just keep using Internet Explorer, knowing full well that sooner or later they're going to hit a web page that will take advantage of Google Chrome Frame. My email address, chris at perillo.com. We have our own community of technology enthusiasts at geeks.perillo.com. They're the, probably the, uh, the peanut gallery behind me. Uh, this chat room, by the way, live, part of a live video feed, which this is not, but I've got another camera pointed at me right now, and so that's how everybody here is
kind of participating. You can participate too. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.